morning, ladies and gentlemen, and everything else. This is New York. We've got 31 genders now, so it is what it is. Uh, this is Fat Guy from Brooklyn with Sean. He's the owner of a couple of fine establishments in New York City, but he could actually uh, fill you in better on that. Sean? Hi, my name is Sean uh, Rollinson. I own Makina in New York City, 26 and 3rd. I also own the Bedford. It's in Waynesburg, Brooklyn. It's on Bedford, North Level Street. And also Roving Sporting Club. It is a uh, fantastic sporting establishment in Waynesburg, Brooklyn. On, surprisingly enough, Roving Street. Uh, so, how long have you been doing this? I've been an owner since 2010 in New York City. Been in New York City since 2001. Uh, my background is economics, foreign policy, so of course, <laughs> restaurants were the way to go. Oh, <laughs> don't worry, I'm in construction. I'm a financial engineer. Yeah. Way to go. So, how many how many hours in a week do you spend at work? Uh, no bullshit. Every hour. So, the Bedford, I live above the Bedford. So, I am always at work. Yeah. Um, most dishes come from my apartment and start there. I make them up there. I bring them down, I teach kids how to make them, and that's where new ideas come from, new styles come from. So, are you technically a chef owner, or just an owner, or it's a I, mix of my I match? I am a proprietor, and that means I am the highest paid busboy, dishwasher, bathroom attendant in the city. I do everything. Do you recommend people start their own business? If you're like me, and have to be the owner? Yes. Because that's the only way you'll become like you will I will work like a soldier, but at the end of the day, I would rather do it for myself. I, that's, that's the outcome. What's the best dish in each one of your restaurants? What's the best dish? So right now Makino, I'd say this burrata pie pizza is the one that is killing for everybody. Which is banging, I just had it. Um, at the Bedford. Our most popular dish is the mac and cheeseburger. What's your favorite? My favorite is the roast chicken because it's perfect. It doesn't change. It's not seasonal. It's roasted chicken. Is it your mom's recipe? No, it's my recipe. It's very almost salt driven, like coated, roasted, all natural chicken Jew, mashed potatoes. Very simple, very clean, but everybody screws up chicken in New York City. I don't. Oh. It's like olive oil and garlic sauce. It's yeah. such a simple concept, but simple most restaurants. Simple is the most hard, yeah. hardest thing. What are the best cocktails? Best cocktails. At the Bedford, I gotta say the cilantro jalapeno margarita. And that idea came to me from having cilantro ice cream at Joe Rubichon. I was like, this is so weirdly pretentious, but it would make a great margarita. Oh, yeah. And no, no. I, <laughs> I could taste it already. Let me guess. Extra crusty salt? Of course. And also, we mix the salt with other spices. So I use sumac as well. So it gives that smoky heat on the salt rim, so it bounces out. We roast the jalapenos so they don't give too much heat, just enough that you have the sense of heat. It's a fresh drink. It's delicious. Not bad, not bad. What's the best date spot? What depends on what you want to do. <laughs> Ooh. I I have a friend um, who goes to Roving Sporting Club and will have during football season three different Tinder dates that day. He'll rotate take them through the day of watching football. I mean the back part of the Bedford is super sexy. I mean that's where you see the most dates. But this new spot in the city, this is where I would go. It's bright, it's airy, you can see each other, there's no hiding. Whoa, 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 whoa. If you see my face, you know why I like nice dark spots. We have alcohol to hide here. I would like to quote one of my old bosses, <laughs> no such thing as ugly women, just lack of vodka. That's right. And that's why his wife is six times the size of him. But <clears throat> that is what it is. But it works. Yeah, as long as they're happy. Yeah. And he's also a degenerate alcoholic. Closing statement. No closing statements. The statement is: Come by and see me. Come by the restaurants, hang out. If you say I'm here to see Sean and I'm sitting next to you, 
My staff will tell you he's not here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, this is Fat Guy from Brooklyn signing out. Subscribe, get the ring the little bell. We'll be good to go.